Uh, my name is Emma Tavola. Um, I practice as a curator and a sometimes visual artist. Kia ora, kia ora. Ko Leilani Kaki Toku Ingoa, no Ngāpui Tainui Manhiki Rakahanga o Kuiwi. And um, so my name is Leilani Kaki and I'm a video installation artist. Um, I think when we talk about specific notions of the nude, um, we speak from uh, you know, unique perspectives. So the idea that there is a singular notion is um, a little bit flawed. Um, of course, there's huge complexities and nuances to the Pacific experience. Um, but in terms of the body, um, Christianity and colonization has definitely changed relationships to the body. Um, in the simplest sense, for women, um, the introduction of the mu'umu, mu the mother hubbard dress, the neck to ankle covering, in a sense made female bodies invisible. I think there's stereotypes, just like there's stereotypes in terms of the colonial gaze, the male gaze, the western gaze, but there's, I think now, uh, more artists are trying to create their own personal narratives about body politics. and. You know, as, as artists, we should be constantly critiquing, are we doing this for you know, this purpose? Or are we playing into the hands of the kind of same old stories and storytelling because it might be more easier for other audiences to understand? Well, what's going to be interesting with this exhibition is that the sort of the, um, the nudeness, which we see so much in social media and the engineering of kind of self through Instagram and Snapchat. Um, there's going to be interesting parallels with what this exhibition represents in terms of an engineered version of nudity or a, a gaze on nudity or construction of nudity. And so um, it's, there's going to be some interesting yeah, ways to see the connections between now and then. As, as um, a mother of a son, um, you know, in, in talking about the body, because um, I've, I've filmed my son over a period of time and seeing how it is for a young male to grow up with um, insecurities because not only are women bombarded but um, young men are bombarded that this is what you have to look like. You know, you have to have abs and theoretically you have to have a big penis and if you don't have those, you're not man enough. And so ever since my son has been little, I've always um, tried to nurture him as, you know, your body is beautiful just the way you are, as long as you're healthy, you know, because um, I don't know about other mothers, but I wonder, like, are we, are we giving the same message about to our males that we do to mm. our, our girls mm. about loving and owning their bodies? So unless the next generation uh, are having, um, you know, constructive discussions about the body, politics, um, social constructs, health, from our, us, mm. from adult informed perspectives, and not just relying on what they on, on, consume, yeah. or, or, or on um, um, commercial media, they're going to be, you know buying into I'm, I'm not pretty enough I'm not skinny enough I'm not you know sexy enough a, a lot of the research we did for you know if I was looking at the Pacific body and how the politics between the Polynesian body and the Melanesian body and that whole discussion between um, dark and light and um, you know uh, Christianity the light uh, savagery the dark was also other, you know, it's other stories and that, and how again those bodies are still being perpetuated in, in uh, through tourist industry. The black body is a, a body of servitude. 
the Polynesian body is a body of, of sexuality. The politics of this exhibition is the politics of the making of those works, the, the provenance of the works, the context of their showing. So all of the politics from an Indigenous perspective aren't really present in that room um, until we bring that dialogue. Yeah, the dialogue has to be done in a way that yeah, is safe, is meaningful for all parties and, and mutually beneficial. Mm, I think um, one of our biggest purposes as Pacific artists is to challenge and um, reassign the gaze um, and the way that we are looked at and seen and represented and perceived um, in response to um, years and years and years of misrepresentation and um, other people representing Pacific Islandness and women. Um, and so that's what's so empowering about working in the Pacific art space is that artists are creating their own perspectives and, and representations of, of Pacific Island space um, from, yeah, from a unique kind of in a, in a response to um, the male gaze and a response to the colonial gaze. Um, so yeah, that's, it's a dynamic, interesting new territory.